All right, guys, this, as you can see, is a Jeep Wrangler 3.6. We already removed the cover, but now I'm going to talk about this vehicle because I had a couple of guys, uh, Wrangler owners, I want to say. He was asking me some questions I didn't know by heart or, or I didn't know the answer to by heart, but we're going to find out now because I actually have one that I'm about to track down that's on the exact same topic he was discussing. And what I'm talking about is uh, overheating issues, okay? Yes, they said it's Jeep overheats. It's a 3.6. Now, the question from Buddy was uh, pertaining to uh, fan operation. When do the fan come on? Okay, as you all know, the fan signal, some cars come from the cooling temp sensor and in some cases the AC. Okay, the fan, actually, this is an electric fan, by the way. Pretty much all of them are, <laughs> except for uh, maybe the 1500. It may be equipped with a mechanical fan but fan is commanded to come on by a couple of sensors i know by heart which is cooling temp sensor and the ac pressure switch okay in other words if uh, pressure in the ac system is at a certain point uh the fan is needed so it will tell the computer to turn the fan on but what we was discussing was when do the fan come on as far as uh helping to bring the temperature back down of the car now you also got to keep be aware that the thermostat uh typically i want to say 180 or oh, 195 degree thermostat that's the thermostat down there it plays a role when the coolant the heated coolant is removed from the block in the engine okay that thermostat the pellet will sense the temperature of the liquid coolant and it will open and close based off its temperature so when it reaches a certain temperature let's say it will open and allow the coolant to come back out back into the radiator all right so one thing we can accomplish today i gotta let this up and do a pressure test and see if there's any leak but what i want to cover for my buddy is exactly when this fan come on that's what we're going to find out now so i'm gonna go grab my scan tool and i'm gonna pull up the computer issue of uh, the computer the data on the computer and we can see i try to set my laptop right here so we can see I said, I guesstimated 230. The low speed fan would kick on. Of course, bring the pressure back down. Uh, maybe what, 216, 2? No, close to 205. Once the pressure go back down around 205, the fan will cut off. Uh, once the pressure reaches back up, 219. I want to say 219. If I had to guess, I'd say 219. Once the temperature reaches 219, fan come on. Temperature go back down, 205. Maybe the fan go off. So it's a vicious cycle guys okay and it's needed to prevent the car from overheating and and to help the car maintain a constant temp pressure which is what most car makers uh that's the goal okay uh now first thing in the morning all bets off they want the car to reach operating temperature as quickly as possible and that's for emission purposes all right so without wasting a lot of time guys let me go grab my scan tool we're gonna hook it up and we're gonna look at some data so stay tuned all right, guys, so I have the Jeep running. Uh, the screen we want to be on the, to monitor the coolant temp. We're going to go on the PCM. We're going to go on the data. Let's stroll down to where we can see a coolant temp sent. Where is coolant temp? We are looking for coolant temp. Hold on, guys. It's hiding in here somewhere. We're under the data. Now, depending on your scan, too, I'm not sure where a coolant temp would be located, but I found it. It is right here. See, the car is still kind of cold. So, I'm going to let it run for a little while long. We're at 188. I predict the fan should come on at 219, but no need in predicting because we're going to find out ourselves, and I'll be able to um answer my buddy question and i'll be able to figure something out myself personally because i need to know this information now granted i won't be able to memorize it guys because <laughs> you drive yourself crazy trying to memorize this stuff so don't uh you just know how the operation is supposed to work you need just really need to understand uh, what's going on while the car is trying to reach operating temperature all right, there's a safe zone. That is a comfortability zone each car is trying to get to 
to give you that stoichiometric uh, fuel mixture. The goal is about emissions, guys. At the end of the day, it's all about emissions and what's coming out of your tailpipe. Okay, car makers have come to the conclusion that a certain window temperature, a car running in this temperature, uh, is best for that. Okay, so if you understand that, you will, everything else will fall into place. So let's let this car idle for a while. We are 195 now. All right, guys, so hold tight. Uh, just hang in there. I'm going to let it run for a while. I'll be back. All right, guys, we are at 219. Is that 219? So, guys, I was wrong. All right, uh, we're setting on engine cooling temp 219.2, and the fan's still not on. Oh, we're at 221, guys. I'm trying to make sure y'all can see that. Still no fan. All right, where are we at now? 221. Engine cooling temp. Let me see if I cross this like this, y'all can see both. But uh, that looks crazy because I still need to zoom in for y'all to see the number. Why well, I'm at 221 and the fan still not on. What I said earlier, 219. Okay, I will change that. It is not 219. This fan on this particular Jeep Wrangler with the three six Pentastar is designed to come on uh, at. Uh oh, y'all see that? I saw a shape. Is it? Uh oh, there it go. 222.8. What a weird number to command the fan to come on. 222, guys. And y'all see that jerk? I might have a problem with this fan. Y'all saw how it jerked first? Let me see how what kind of temperature it's designed to cut off at. Now, that's low speed fan. Okay. Look, the temperature going down. 221 now. Y'all see that? All right, so we're down to 219. So here's that vicious cycle I was talking about. Once the temperature gets down to a certain threshold, it will cut off. But what is that threshold? We have 217 now. Fan still running. Where we at now? 215, guys. Y'all see that? Fan still running. Where we at now? 23. We are down to 213. Look, guys. I think the fan is slowing down. Wow, it has shut off. So the fan is designed to come on at 228 and designed to go off at 213. Oh, I'm not sure. Okay, I'm gonna have to double check this, guys. We're at 213 now. Let me get up to two. What I say? Let me get up to 220 and I'm gonna fire the camera back up and we're gonna verify this. It's one of those. I need a second opinion. <laughs> oh, I want to see it again. So. Hold tight, we're at 213. I don't want the camera to run that long, and I don't have nothing to speak about for that long. So when it get to 220, I'm gonna fire the camera back up. Stay tuned. All right, guys, I'm back. Well, we're at 219. Okay, now let's, y'all follow me here. I'm trying to get y'all a good view. We're at 219, no fan. Previously, the fan came on at 222. Let's see what, oh, we're at 221. 222.8 last time it came on so we're sitting at 221 right now so probably in another degree that fans low speed fans should kick on but let's see all right 221 right now do i hear 222 do i hear 222 there it is 222.8 uh-oh no fan guys what is wrong that's not the same reading i had last time maybe it's want to get to 223 uh-oh they're gonna jerk at 222.8 okay guys i get my initial jerk at 222.8 and then the fan comes on all right so that's obviously the specs for a jeep wrangler guys with a 36 don't try to compare or don't try to associate these readings with in you know other cars that use the 3.6 engine because i want to say that reading is based on the vehicle they might want the uh, Wranglers to run certain degrees at a certain time versus a 3.6 and a Charger or something like that. So uh, don't correlate the two. We're down to 2.17. I just want to see when the fan come off and we're done with this experimentation. 2.15 now. Fan still on. When do the fan cut off, ladies and gentlemen? 2.13. We're down to one thing I couldn't say. I can say. Oh, it's off. So it shut off at 213. So y'all see that? Come on at 2 
22.8 go off at 213.8 all right guys one thing i did just realize <laughs> the car's not overheating obviously all right another thing is going through this vicious cycle all right so that's number two all right and three but there has to be a leak guys because i can smell the smell of cooling all right remember i told y'all earlier i topped this off and uh bled it just to go drive it the second time first trip it overheated on it i assume that's because it was low on cooling but guys anytime you have low on cooling that's obviously a leak y'all see that right there okay now that's the condenser but cooling could easily be pissing out of the radiator right into this area that's likely what i'm smelling all right so i will have to write up a radiator all right I pressurize it didn't find any leaks guys be careful with the cooling pressure tester it can trick you sometimes show no leak under pressure but if the car is running and pressure build up uh, the leak may show up so it's got to it's got to be a judgment thing do you pressurize it while the car is running some people do i'm not against that i have done it in the past because i really wanted to know where a car was leaking coolant and uh i ended up doing that i'm thinking about that you just want to make sure your pressure don't exceed your gauge or you could damage your tool all right so but in this case I can see this is likely what I'm smelling. I smell the smell of coolant. So I'm gonna write up a radiator, guys. And um, depending on if they sell it, oh, I think I already have a video out on replacing the radiator on the Grand Cherokee. But let me wrap this video up, guys. Do not, like I say, do not try to compare or do not think all engines with a 3.6 run off those specs. It's just not the case. It varies from vehicle to vehicle, guys. All right, that's all I have, man. Thanks for watching. Comment, subscribe. I'll see y'all on the next video.